Cooper made a lap and qualified. Crawl wreck on the front straightaway. Sliding through the grass, the five, that is Michael Annette. And Rick, that all started in the middle of three and four with Ryan Priest. We mentioned he had to start at the back of the, the entire field. He knows he has to go. He forced his way three wide in the middle. I don't think it was a bad move or a dirty move, but he had to make something happen. When he did, there wasn't enough real estate. They banged doors, and the five spun to the bottom, and you see the damage that the grass has done. So he tries to squeeze in here three wide, and you're going to see instantly the five with a big wiggle comes up the racetrack. No room to correct. Makes contact with the 18 Priest. A great save to keep his car going straight. Sends Mike Lynette through the grass with the damage on the nose of this five. I would assume his day is over. Yeah, right here, there's contact. And then, you know, without that grass, maybe the five car doesn't get damaged quite as badly. And one thing we're going to see when we go to Charlotte here in a few weeks, they've changed all that grass that Charlotte is now, you know, artificial. And, and that's something all the racetracks are going to have to look at because that may not happen with that new stuff that's that's at charlotte motor speedway about how slick this racetrack is and matt tiff gets loose and just loses the car and ryan reed comes in and hits him and look at those two impacts just solid side impact steve yeah and that angle you're going to see this 16 right here it doesn't really get turned enough to hit with the front of the car that sometimes can crumple up and actually absorb some impact it's right with the door I'm fortunate enough to never been able to take one of those rides, but I've had drivers tell me, Jeff, that impact right in the door, you just feel it in the seat. Man. Speaking of drivers, we bring in Dale Earnhardt Jr. This happened really just off to your right, Dale, in the uh, from the Peacock pit box. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, obviously those are some really nasty hits. Um, glad to see both those guys get out of the race car. And, you know, Reed. There's a neurosurgeon at every racetrack, and uh, I'm sure that those guys will be looking over these drivers once they get to the Infield Care Center. A couple other things we can learn from this uh, this crash is the, uh, the trouble for Tiff to get out of the car. You know, and NASCAR will interview Tiff and look at uh, if they're you know looking to see if there's some sort of issue there. If that car had been on fire or something, I'm sure that Matt would have been in a little bit bigger of a hurry. And, Back down, they block. The 60 goes around. Briscoe hard into the wall. And the window net coming down. He sees the flames coming out in the engine. And Briscoe. Yeah, his window's net down. He's getting out. Chase. Climbing out quickly as the safety crew gets to him. After restart, everybody's very aggressive. Contact with the 9 and the 20 in front of Briscoe. And just got into that curvature of the wall, the, in, the inside wall. Yeah, this is going to show you just how hard this impact was. Mm. Oh. something the tracks have to continue to look at how do we how can we get those curves out of the walls you want to be able to have access for personnel safety personnel to quickly get to the drivers but you can see that access point creates a bad point of impact safer barrier doing a great job but it's just that angle of impact that's so bad think about that all four tires once again off the ground on this about 3,500 pound race car. with that move he had the opportunity to get to the up right into the of wall the nine of tyler reddick he slides back down he'll catch the three of shane lee and hemrick's in hemrick's in it as well he's into the outside wall hard there were some big blocks thrown down the front stretch and eventually 
He made contact in a round with the nine. And soon he hits one. Now the deck lids off the race car. He comes down, and then look at this back and collects the 21. Another hard hit. Richard Childers, two cars wreck in one corner. J.J. Yaley and 38 also involved. Yeah, this, this last block by the nine car. Usually you get away with one. Yeah. Right, right. Usually the one direction works more than not. The second block, it's just timing, right? Now you're, you're a step behind. And we're going to ride along. Be careful on this one. This is Daniel Hemrick. 21. He goes straight into the wall here.